Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Tuesday Tips with Todd, Thursday edition. Um, first, I, I guess I need to kind of uh, make fun of myself for uh, not being real consistent the last half of 2019 with doing my videos. Um, it, you know, and really this this video is really a shout out to all my to all my clients and friends that uh, allowed myself and my team to help them in 2019. Uh, we're blessed uh, to have been able to have helped 94 different families. Um, so uh, it was a very, very busy year. Um, our team grew, we're actually still growing. We just hired a buyer's agent last week. We're looking at adding more team members. So if any of you out there know of any uh, folks that are either in the business or wanting to get into the real estate business, I would love to have the opportunity to chat with them and see if they're a good fit. But anyways, I really wanted to just thank, you know, everyone for, you know, all their business over the years, referrals, um, it means a ton to me and my family. Uh, we love helping and, uh, you know, we, we, we love real estate. Um, so, a couple things I did wanna mention, um, you know, in the start of the, uh, the, start of the new year here. Um, you know, the market is active. Um, weather definitely helps. I mean, it's gonna be 50 and sunny today. Um, but we think that 2020 will still be a good market. We have seen shifts downward in some uh, higher price point um, homes. So, you know, the higher, uh, the higher uh, price ranges, we've got more inventory. We're seeing some shifts um, on new construction. Uh, so, you know, ebbs and flows in, in the real estate markets, but that's what I want to, you know, always come to you guys and educate you on what's going on out there. The first time home buyer market still moving really, really well. We listed one right before New Year's and we sold it on New Year's Day. Um, so people are, are out there looking. Um, the other thing that I always like to talk about around this time of the year is don't wait until spring. Everybody thinks that springtime is the best time to sell your house. Well, sometimes it, it you know, you're gonna get more buyers out at times, um, you know, but what also happens if you're looking to sell, you end up with more inventory and competition. So I always tell my clients, I literally just got off the phone uh, with the gentleman who I'm gonna be listing his house next week because he said that very question. He said, Todd, should I wait? I said, no. I said, Larry, I said, you wanna always have your house on the market because if you're not out there, nobody knows about you. So if you or someone you know or that you work with is thinking about you know, selling and or buying you know, in the next um, you know, few months, especially on the sell side, if, if they are thinking about doing that, now is the time. Um, but again, I just wanted to thank everybody for all their business and referrals uh, and just thinking of us um, you know, in 2019. Um, and we're definitely here for sound advice. And if it's somebody that you know, isn't necessarily re ready to put their house on the market, but they just have some questions about the process, about, you know, hey, should I fix this? Should I fix that? Should I clean this out? Can I just sell the house as it is, Todd? You know, or what would the house sell as is? Or how would it sell, you know, if we did X, Y, and Z? You know, I'm here for sound real estate advice, and that's no obligation. So anyways, just wanted to thank everyone. Uh, it's gonna be a beautiful day. Go out and enjoy it. And I hope you guys have a great 2020. Talk to you soon.